show. Whether we're five round four or two, grab the gold. Let's go, who the fights? Yes, that show. Get it popularity, wanna overthrow. From the territory, reaching to across the globe. Time to make history, let the world go. Never underestimate the power of a team. Standing united to realize one dream. Anyone who got it before would not believe. Who the fights make excitement extreme. Ladies and gentlemen, know you ready. Gather around that is it's okay. Gonna deliver the fight or four cards, not the stage fight. Oh no, ladies and gentlemen, know you ready. Gather around that is it's okay. Gonna deliver the fight or four cards, not the stage fight. Oh no, ladies and gentlemen, know you ready. The way of the warrior. Smoke shop, what's your favorite energy drink? You always find me with a cannabis energy drink ready to drink. And what do you guys do here at Visions, man? Sling glass, uh, blow glass, sell glass. Uh, do you? You blow glass? Can yeah. we take a look at some of your setup? Well, you not do it here. Vision Smoke Shop, Redmond, Oregon, 231 Southwest 6th Street, downtown Redmond, across the street from Sears. My name is Backdoor Studios, located right on 6th in downtown Redmond. Obviously, the best shop in Redmond. Yeah, we've been here five years. Uh, we were located in the back in the alleyway for for uh, three and a half. We've been up here about one and a half. So. <laughs>
their garden needs, uh, as well as the outdoor. Um, yeah, between lighting and nutrients and soils and uh, different additives, bugs, stuff, anything you need. Absolutely, supporting local businesses. You know, Pro Organic is um, and Down to Earth is from Eugene. And they're really great. We do have a dot What's com and a Facebook. <laughs> GreenleafGardenCenter.com. GreenleafGardenCenter.com. And. Uh, no, so about. stop by Facebook and like <laughs> GreenleafGardenCenter.com and uh, you guys can keep up with what the uh, newest trends in safe gardening measures and things like that, right? Yep, absolutely. Yeah. New products that are coming. Um, we're constantly getting new lines in here. So whatever our customers want, that's what we're trying to give. Right on. <laughs> this is uh, Greenleaf Garden Center. Uh, we're here off of 9th and Wilson. Uh, 910 I believe is the address. Uh, we've been here for four years coming in April. Uh, definitely all your indoor, uh, outdoor organic gardening needs and then some um, from hydroponic, uh, soil, uh, seed starting, propagation, uh, everything. Uh, yeah. Stop in the green leaf. Yeah, definitely. Come check us out. energy drink ready to drink and what do you guys do here at visions man sling glass uh blow glass sell glass uh, do you you blow glass can yeah. we take a look at some of your setup well, you not do it here vision smoke shop redmond oregon 231 southwest 6th street downtown redmond across the street from sears it was back to our studios located right on 6th in downtown yeah. redmond yeah. obviously the best shop in redmond yeah we've been here five years uh we were located in the back in the alleyway for for uh, three and a half, 
We've been up here about one and a half, so. Yeah, 
Uh, essentially, we ferment them out. Um, we get the the fresh pressed juice within you know a day of it being pressed, and later that day where we begin to ferment them. Ferments for about three weeks, and then essentially uh, we bottle and keg it just like you would a beer. Now, is this just a brewery, or is this a place you can come in and grab something to eat? And um, we're actually a winery. Oh, okay. And it is closer to making wine than, okay. than it is beer because we're fermenting fresh pressed juices. We do here have a have a tasting room where people can come in and try all our ciders. Right. And we fill growlers and have bottles and, and do kegs also. Excellent. Yeah. Right on. And how long have you been alive? Uh, one year. Yeah? Yeah. Sweet and, and kicking off good, huh? Distributed uh, throughout Oregon. Yeah. And moving into southern Washington this month. So. Nice, nice. Yeah. Just keep on pushing, man. Yep. And yeah. That was our main goal is to introduce hard cider to Bend. You keep drinking, we'll keep pouring. Absolutely. You know, right on, man. Well, Dan, yeah. it was a pleasure to meet you, Thanks man. For coming. Hey, Jason Mugg, ACSLive.tv, hanging out in Oregon at uh, Atlas Cider, and this is amazing. He gave me some of this blackberry cider, correct? That's it. Blackberry cider, and I'm, I'm even going to do it again so you can see the excitement on my face, and plus I want another drink, so. Mm. It's like... It's like drinking fresh juice in the morning, but yeah, you know, you got that adult flair to it, you know? But uh, you guys should check this out. Bend, Oregon, uh, Atlas Cider. This is absolutely the best tasting cider drink I've, I've had yet, and, and you guys know I don't lie. Hey, ACS Live, we're out. Uh, you can check us out at atlascider.com or our Facebook page, or come in and uh, say hello, and you can try all our ciders for free. Um, right now we have four ciders. We have an apple, a pomegranate cherry, a blackberry, and an apricot. So we'd love to see you and enjoy our ciders.
energy drink, uh, Budo Fights. Hey, Vision Smoke Shop, what's your favorite energy drink? You always find me with a cannabis energy drink ready to drink. <laughs> name is Backdoor Studios, located right on 6 in downtown Redmond. Obviously the best shop in Redmond. Yeah, we've been here five years. Uh, we were located in the back in the alleyway for, for uh, three and a half. We've been up here about one and a half, so. What do you guys do here at Visions, man? Sling glass, uh, blow glass, sell glass. Uh, do you? You blow glass? Can yeah. we take a look at some of your setup? Well, you not, do it here? Vision Smoke Shop, Redmond, Oregon, 231 Southwest 6th Street, downtown Redmond, across the street from Sears. <laughs>
for all your indoor garden needs, uh, as well as outdoor. Um, yeah, between lighting and nutrients and soils and uh, different additives, bugs, stuff, anything you need. Absolutely, supporting local businesses, you know, Pro Organic is, um, and Down to Earth is from Eugene, and they're really great. We do have a dot What's com and a Facebook, <laughs> GreenleafGardenCenter.com. GreenleafGardenCenter.com. And, uh, look, I don't even know. No, so stop it. by Facebook and like <laughs> GreenleafGardenCenter.com, and, uh, you guys can keep up with what the uh, newest trends in safe gardening measures and things like that, right? Yep, yeah. absolutely. New products that are coming. Um, we're constantly getting new lines in here. So whatever our customers want, that's what we're trying to give. Right on. <laughs> this is uh, Greenleaf Garden Center. Uh, we're here off of 9th and Wilson. Uh, 910, I believe, is the address. Uh, we've been here for four years, coming in April. Uh, Definitely all your indoor, uh, outdoor, organic gardening needs, and then some um, from hydroponic, uh, soil, uh, seed starting, propagation, uh, everything. Uh, yeah. Stop in the green leaf. Yeah, definitely. Come check us out. energy drink ready to drink and what do you guys do here at visions man sling glass uh blow glass sell glass uh, do you you blow glass can yeah. we take a look at some of your setup well, you not, do it here? vision smoke shop redmond oregon 231 southwest 6th street downtown redmond across the street from sears
And he's ready to go, Heather. And he's going critical mass. This is a big fight right here in Budo Fights Den. McMahon is cornered by Willie Madison and, of course, local legend and gym owner of Desert Dogs, JT Taylor, the general. Both of these guys, same height, same weight, big time veterans. What? We've got almost 30 fights in the cage here tonight, Heather. Definitely. And here we go. McManus comes right out, touches up, comes right in to Sergeant Double A. Sergeant. McManus told me if I can get him to the ground, it's my game, and, and he could be right. Give him Mass a blue belt out of JT Taylor's Desert Dogs. And McMahon is working for that double exchange. Sergeant isn't giving it up early. McManus picks him up, puts him right back down on his feet, Heather. Mc St. Sergeant mounts McManus. McManus sweeps him around. What a fight. McManus on top side control. Same sergeant holding on tight. McManus spins around the guard. McManus has Shane Sergeant, but he has him in Sergeant's corner. Sergeant trying to work on the left arm of McManus. Thinking triangle, McManus says, no, I don't think so, buddy. I'm a desert dog. Desert dogs don't get triangle. Sergeant landing a lot of leather, tough fight for McManus. Sergeant trying to control the head posture of McManus, and McManus dives in. McManus now has the right arm of Sergeant. Sergeant's trying to pound out of it. McManus gets power bombed. St. Sergeant gets to work in the business on the left glove giving leather treatment to David McManus off his back. McManus looking for a turnbuckle to give him the turnbuckle treatment. Doesn't get there. Sergeant on top in guard. Spins around, isolates the right arm, and that is it. What a scramble, moves Trent, around. Trent, Mick, Deidre McMahon said to me last night, this is my house, this is my yard, and Desert Dogs ran the yard tonight. He worked and worked and worked for that arm, Heather. He got it extended. He finished it, and there he is celebrating, I believe, his first victory in his hometown here at Bend, Oregon. Very nice, nice win for McMenon. Gotta feel good for the man who wasn't sure he was gonna fight again, let alone in the Oregon cage at Budo Fight. Hey man, this guy's been down the dumps and's come back time after time. He's a change his nickname to the Phoenix!
That's a danger, Dave McManus, Heather. We've seen him come. Hello, I'm Dan, owner of Atlas Cider. Um, you're here now in our tasting room, right here on Wilson Street in Bend. And we make hard ciders from fresh pressed Oregon and Washington fruits. Yeah, uh, essentially we ferment them out. Um, we get the the fresh pressed juice within you know a day of it being pressed, and later that day where we begin to ferment them. Ferments for about three weeks, and then essentially uh, we bottle and keg it just like you would a beer. Now, is this just a brewery, or is this a place you can come in and grab something to eat? And um, we're actually a winery. Oh, okay. And it is closer to making wine. Okay. Than it is beer because we're fermenting fresh pressed juices. We do here have a have a tasting room where people can come in and try all our ciders. Right. And we fill growlers and have bottles and, and do kegs also. Excellent. Yeah. Right on. And how long have you been alive? Uh, one year. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet and, and kicking off much good, huh? Distributed uh, throughout Oregon. Yeah. And moving into southern Washington this month. So. Nice, nice. Yeah. Just keep on pushing, man. Yep. And yeah. That was our main goal is to introduce hard cider to Bend. You keep drinking, we'll keep pouring. Absolutely. You know, right on, man. Well, Dan, yeah. it was a pleasure to meet you, Thanks man. Thanks for coming. Hey, Jason Mugg, ACSLive.TV, hanging out in Oregon at uh, Atlas Cider, and this is amazing. He gave me some of this blackberry cider, correct? That's it. Blackberry cider, and I'm, I'm even going to do it again so you can see the excitement on my face, and plus I want another drink, so. Mm. It's like, it's like drinking fresh juice in the morning, but yeah, you know, you got that adult flair to it, you know? But uh, you guys should check this out. Bend, Oregon, uh, Atlas Cider. This is absolutely the best tasting cider drink I've, I've had yet, and, and you guys know I don't lie. Hey, ACS Live, we're out. Uh, you can check us out at atlascider.com or our Facebook page or come in and uh, say hello and you can try all our ciders for free. Um, right now we have four ciders. We have an apple, a pomegranate cherry, a blackberry, and an apricot. So we'd love to see you and enjoy our ciders.
down and low, pick up a can of energy. Official energy drink of uh, Budo Fights. Hey, Vision Smoke Shop, what's your favorite energy drink? You always find me with a cannabis energy drink ready to drink. Of this man cross the cage for him tonight. And this man better bring his A game because Robert McCaff is ready to rumble. He looks ready, Heather. He looks ready. Metcalf has a lot of friends and family here tonight. Metcalf versus Weathers. Weathers the much bigger man. Looking at look at that in the cage, the much stronger man, Heather. But I'll tell you what, little Robert Metcalf never gave up on anything in his life. Here we go. Come up. No touch, no respect, and Metcalf sticks out that left hand. Metcalf charges Weathers down, falls to the ground, recovers faster. Back up to his feet. Even when there's the business on the cage, turns around, double leg. Metcalf on top of Weathers. Me Weathers has done very well so far, Heather. Definitely Metcalf's game on the ground. Start a gorilla. Drop some gorilla leather there, Heather. Metcalf on top. Weathers on the bottom. He has the left leg of Metcalf in lockdown. Metcalf, left hand, right ribs to Weathers. Jumps full mount. Weathers, what does Weathers have to do here, Heather? He's not in a good spot. Weathers is best on his feet, so he needs to get up out of it. Weathers still bucking and bronking, trying to throw old Metcalf off. Metcalf is weathering the storm like a like an old pirate, Heather. Referee Dave Angle watching close to see their debut fight, and it could end shortly. Metcalf giving the heavy right, now switching up right, left, right, left to Weathers on the ground. Now exclusively the left hand getting through big shots on Weathers. Weathers thinks about tapping, he's lifting that right hand up. Referee Dave Hagen couldn't see it if he did. Dave Hagen steps in, says I think I've seen enough. Nice and just win. like that, that's it, Heather. Very nice win for Robert Metcalf. Represent his hometown tonight. I'll tell you what, he got it in that cage and he went crazy. He went crazy. He's had a lot of pent up energy Trent wanted to release it in this cage and he came in and he did just that and he's taking on the W tonight.
between lighting and nutrients and soils and uh, different additives, bugs, stuff, anything you need. Absolutely, supporting local businesses, you know, Pro Organic is, um, and Down to Earth is from Eugene, and they're really great. We do have a dot What's com the and dot a Facebook, uh, GreenleafGardenCenter.com. GreenleafGardenCenter.com. And, uh... Like, no, so about. stop by Facebook and like <laughs> GreenleafGardenCenter.com and uh, you guys can keep up with what the uh, newest trends and safe gardening measures and things like that, right? Yep, absolutely. Yeah. New products that are coming. Um, we're constantly getting new lines in here. So whatever our customers want, that's what we're trying to give. Right on. <laughs> this is uh, Greenleaf Garden Center. Uh, we're here off of 9th and Wilson. Uh, 910 I believe is the address. Uh, we've been here for four years coming in April. Uh, definitely all your indoor, uh, outdoor organic gardening needs and then some um, from hydroponic, uh, soil, uh, seed starting, propagation, uh, everything. Uh, yeah. Stop in the green leaf. Yeah, definitely. Come check us out. Smoke Shop, Redmond, Oregon, 231 Southwest 6th Street, downtown Redmond, across the street from Sears. It was back to our studios, located right on 6th in downtown Redmond. Obviously the best shop in Redmond. Yeah, we've been here five years. Uh, we were located in the back in the alleyway for, for uh, three and a half. We've been up here about one and a half, so. You're feeling kind of low and down and down and low. Pick up a can of energy. Official energy drink of Budo Fights. Hey, Vision Smoke Shop, what's your favorite energy drink? You always find me with a cannabis energy drink ready to drink. The medicine man from Morris, he is from the
the Primeville Dogs. They are making another appearance here in the Bend Cage tonight at Buddha Fights 10. And he is ready to get his first win. He is also 0-1, facing off against Chase Miller. Here he is, getting ready to enter into the cage. I'm live. Here we go, Heather. We got another one in the cage, huh? Maris in the black shorts with the red and white trim. Miller in the pure black shorts. We have Dave Hagen in charge of the action, touching up back to the corners to go. Trent, the Primeville Bugs are hungry and they are looking to once again face off with on, weapons grade MMA out of Klamath Falls. Yeah, Here we go. Here we go. Miller comes to the cage, low yeah. kick. Body kick, Damaris answers with a hard bread basket shot. And Miller ends up on top. Damaris, the local boy on his back over in Miller's corner. Miller's coach, Cole Milani, looking closely, watching on corner in this fighter. Who is this Cole Milani? Heather tells a little about him. Bringing a team in cornering tonight at Budo Fights. We're happy to have him here. Hey, and Budo Fights has talent from all over the region. They are no longer just a state show. They are going to be recognized on a regional meter, Heather. Miller still on top. Damaris off his back, working his magic. He almost has a triangle chip. He needs to send that left foot into the right thing, but you know what? That's it. That was it. Damaris pulled out the, the submission right there, just like that, Heather. The referee it came runs. in, was all over the top of it, stopped that fight. Coach Bobby Blanchard of Pineville Dogs is happy for his fighter. He's in that cage tonight. Trent, a little history. Quinn was weighing in a little heavy last night, and his opponent said, you know what, meet me at this weight, and we'll fight. And it paid off for Quinn, he got the win. Quinn. He's out of the Pineville dog, and like I said, Bobby Blanchard was a close friend of mine. He's a tough cat, and he's got those kids steered in the right direction.
your garden needs, uh, as well as the outdoor. Um, yeah, between lighting and nutrients and soils and uh, different additives, bugs, def, anything you need. Absolutely, supporting local businesses, you know, Pro Organic is, um, and Down to Earth is from Eugene, and they're really great. We do have a dot com What's the and dot a Facebook, <laughs> GreenleafGardenCenter.com. GreenleafGardenCenter.com. And, uh... Okay, now, so stop by Facebook and like <laughs> GreenleafGardenCenter.com, and uh, you guys can keep up with what the uh, newest trends and safe gardening measures and things like that, right? Yep, yeah, yeah. absolutely. New products that are coming. Um, we're constantly getting new lines in here, so whatever our customers want, that's what we're trying to give. Right on. <laughs> this is uh, Greenleaf Garden Center. Uh, we're here off of Ninth and Wilson. Uh, 910 I believe is the address. Uh, we've been here for four years coming in April. Uh, definitely all your indoor, uh, outdoor organic gardening needs and then some um, from hydroponic, uh, soil, uh, seed starting, propagation, uh, everything. Uh, yeah. Stop in the green leaf. Yeah, definitely come check us out. gym it's at a uh, body exchange yeah yeah at, we do it at a body exchange it's an actual like you know mom and pop gym yeah you and, put in five months for this camp there what's that you put in five months for this camp there six months or a year oh, you said a little over a year a little over yeah. a year yeah blood well, sweat and tears yeah lots of blood, cardio sweat. lots of cardio yeah lots of weight loss lots of weight loss yeah. i think when i first got in there i was 172 172 pounds and now i'm out 
155-ish, so. Right, toned 155. Straight up toned. Yeah, muscle. Never seen muscle yeah. before in my you life. You feel like a million bucks now? I do. Be More better energy, than you, did? you know, eating clean, so. So what would you tell people if they said, well, I don't like the fighting? What would you tell them about the training? Like how beneficial that would be? It teaches you a lot more about your body. Yeah. It's more of a mental game. So it'll teach you a lot more about your body, what to eat, what not to eat, right and on. how to control your, you know, your brain when it comes to that cardio and getting your cardio under control. Did body. you have a specific diet plan, like a uh, like somebody's famous diet plan, or did you just come up with your own? Yeah, it's called the Get Sexy Program. Hector yeah. Castaneda's Get Sexy Program. <laughs> true, true story. Very true story. <laughs> You designed and built that all yourself? I designed and built it. You got the book? You got a recipe guide and all that? Uh, it's all up in the head, man. Get Sexy Potatoes. It's the Get Sexy Get... Program. <laughs> yeah, right on, man. <laughs> cool, cool. How many people you guys got in your gym? <clears throat> Uh, with the classes or the actual gym itself? Well, yeah, you know, I mean, around about how many people you got to train with? Let me put it that way. Shit. Uh, um, about 12. Yeah, about 12. Yeah, so you yeah. got a good roundabout. It's a good roundabout. I mean, I've seen guys and girls come and go. And, you know, guys can't handle cardio, so most of them just yeah. kick rocks. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll testify to that. I, hate, <laughs> I hated cardio. They'd rather eat than... Who you hook to the most? Uh, striking, judo, jiu-jitsu? I was am it, a yeah? straight-up striker. Straight-up striker, huh? I like the huh? feel of their face against my fist. Right on. Yeah. So you like planting them deep, huh? I love planting them deep. Right on. Cool, cool. Get a little blood action on that. Yeah? Almost a turn on. <laughs> I love <laughs> Like some feeling. Who are your sponsors? Um, Tej and Concrete. He is the only one that has sponsored me last minute. Cause yeah? We, Helped we, you get up here? Yeah. He uh, paid for our tickets up here. Um, he's paid our gas everywhere. Anything we needed. So. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. TJ Concrete. Tej and Concrete. Tej and. Spell yeah. it for us. T-I-E-T-J-E-N. Tej and. Yeah? Yeah. And they, that's out of Bakersfield? Bakersfield, California. Right on. We love people that support our amateurs. We that's love you, awesome. Ed Thank you. Anna Simons. What's your record, Anna? Oh, and oh. Somebody's always got to go. <laughs> right on. Your opponent's coming in 0 and 0 too. So what, how long did you train for this? Um, about six months. Six months? Yes. Anything specific? Um, Give something you kind of like lean to? As much as I to? can learn. Yeah. Um, all around. I'm lucky to have amazing coaches and they've done a lot to prepare me so I'm feeling good. Right on. Super confident about going in there? Yeah, I feel ready. 70-30? I, I 70 know, confidence, I'm a, 30 a, nervous? an off taker, but I feel good. Yeah, that's cool. That's I feel like I'm where I should be for this step in my development and um, I trust in my training absolutely. I have amazing coaches, Nick Gilardi, Fabiano Scherner, Dylan Atkinson, and, and teammates, training partners, who are just uh, so generous about teaching, and um, I always come away with something new every day, so I feel ready and excited to put my skills to the test. Yeah, you, you stated that a few seconds ago as in a, a graduating step of what you're going to do. Is this something you're going to continue to pursue? Are you going to like do at least, you know, are you going to try to go pro? Um, I, I hope to fight at the highest level that I can. So yeah. I'm gonna, I want to take this as far as I can go. Um, we'll see how it goes and, you know, take it each step as it comes. I don't want to get ahead of myself. It's just right. my first fight. But, um, well, what's your athletic background? I have been a rugby player for, this is my 14th year. Oh, rugby. kick out. Yeah. <laughs> to start a new challenge with MMA. Um, just you play college rugby? Well, that's when I started. Yeah, and then what yeah. is it, the Oregon Reds? Uh, Oregon Sports Union, or is, Sioux. Yeah. my team out of Portland, and um, we're the Jesters. Oh, okay, yeah. all right. Um, we're pretty good. We compete in a women's division one. Um, we've got our eye on a national championship this year, so that's another thing that I'm So you've doing. been head deep in knuckles and elbows and knees, and, <laughs> and you don't have any fear of that, do you? I don't. It's a little, I, I love the physicality of it. I love contact sports. Um, it's different, obviously. Techniques are different, but I think just the willingness to mix it up is something that translates from one to Right on. Well, hey, we wish you luck tomorrow night. Thank you so it's much. It's a pleasure to meet you, you really. Too. Simons.
Here we go, that is Wallace in the far corner. She is in the all black. Simon's in the near corner. She is too in all black. She has head for headgear MMA on her right hip. On paper, she's about two inches taller. In reality, she's about an inch. And here we go. Simmons bounces out, center cage. Wallace comes around the outside, wow. jumps to a knee. Simmons jumps on top of her. Rotates, gets her back. But not a good spot for Wallace. Wallace fighting off the rear naked choke. Simmons just ratcheting that baby down. She is all over Wallace. Flattens Wallace around. Wallace has life in her. Get back to her knees. She's still all over the back. This is not a good spot, Trent. Simmons now starting to flatten her out and arc up. Wallace better do something big here. She's not in a good spot, Hello. Simmons is not giving her a warm welcome to Oregon, but Wallace is back on her feet. Not very long, though. Wallace now crumpled in. Simmons, Simon's own corner. Simon starts to spin around the side, right in front of the head coach, Nick Girardi. Coach of the year last year, Heather. In the state of Oregon. Wallace trying to turn in to get parallel with Simmons. Simmons says no, but moves around. They're parallel. Simmons now working on an arm in double guillotine. Wallace sits back, tries to throw over the top, not quite successful. Simmons now all over the back as she gets the top. That is it. Excellent jujitsu. Very well done. Very well executed by Anna Simons. A great win for her tonight in her home state of Oregon. She did not give Laura Wallace a very warm welcome who came all the way from California. We thank her for being here, but tonight it was Simon's win, Trent. Quite rude of a... Welcome to Oregon, but I'll tell you what, right here in the Northwest, we have the number one amateur mixed martial arts ever in the world. That's proven. It's science. And you can't argue with science.
five round war two, grab the gold. Let's go, who the fights, yes, that show. Get it popularity, wanna overthrow. From the territory, reaching to across the globe. Time to make history, let the world know. Never underestimate the power of a team. Standing united to realize one dream. Anyone who doubted before would not believe. Who the fights make excitement extreme. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Gather around that is it's so ready. Gonna deliver the fight of the fight. Not to say fight. Oh no, fight. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Gather around that is it's so ready. Gonna deliver the fight of the fight. Not to say fight. Oh no, fight. Who the fights? Are you ready? The way of the warrior. I'm looking forward to this fight, Trent. I'll tell you what, Sanduk has about two to three inches on him on paper, Heather, on angle. Both of them appear to have about the same build. Sanduk has a longer two, longer hair of the two. On paper, he's three inches taller. In reality, I think it's within an inch, Heather. What do you think? You know, Trent, sometimes they say the taller you are, the harder you fall. Sometimes that height just does not make a difference, as you yourself all know. Yeah, but listen, I'm six foot three, and I don't know if I agree with that at all, Heather. Looks like they're trimming the fingernails right now, a send up. State of Oregon safety. Commission all over that type of thing, Heather. They are the best in the business. And I'll tell you what, they run these amateur shows like they're professional shows. And that's why we simply have the best around here. What can you say about that? Nothing. Referee Dave has taken a close look. He just heard that he is being deployed to Afghanistan, a military man. He's been in a lot of the big shows, Heather, including the UFC, the top of the top, the best of the best, both in the cage and outside. He's been around the block, and here we are in beautiful Bend, Oregon, with these two facing off. I'm looking forward to this fight. Angle coming to you from the far side. Sundown from... In all black shorts. Angle playing it safe. Checking his range. Angle bounces around the outside. High hands. He's getting ready to drop the gloves. Hockey and Fortress style. You'll see him land some big shots here. Angle. Kind of an unorthodox stance. Now he's threatening the back fist, Heather. Sundock rushes in, gets a hold of his hips. Sando! Sando takes down the enforcer. Angle now gets full mounted. Not a good look in his own corner, Heather. Sundock, full mounted. Angle trying to hold on, keep that body posture down. 
His opponent says, no, I want some space to land some leather, and he's doing just that. Referee Dave Hagen watching close. And that's it, Referee Dave, you're gonna see that enough. Unfortunately, the enforcer was not near enough to defend himself, and he did give Mike Sando his third win. That's a tough look, and they just don't do that in hockey. It's kind of not fair here in the MMA cage. from these MMA fights, it just doesn't make it fair. That's kind of an ignorant statement, Trent.
of the Desert Dogs. Getting in the cage, we have Ronnie Miller, standing at five foot seven inches tall. He is undefeated at one and zero. These boys are both looking for their second win tonight. Is it gonna go to the hometown kid, Trent? I don't know. And I'll tell you what, Heather, I had a, a talk with Ronnie Miller's coach, Desert Dog JT Taylor. He said Cody Flores doesn't, doesn't stand a chance here tonight in Bend, Oregon. Ronnie Miller is a Desert Dog. He will represent the Desert Dogs, and he will bring victory in a hurry to the Desert Dogs. Here we go. Ronnie steps in, short left hand. Flores scoots out, takes a kick. Runs in, seat belts, double legs, Miller and puts him on his back. Coach JT Taylor very confident of his kid in the cage here tonight, Heather. Miller is on his back. Flores on top in his own corner. Miller gets his guard back. Starts working upstairs. Isolating the head, moving the head, moving the arms. That's usually a setup for a submission off the back. Flores on top trying to get room with that left hand to throw some leather. Now Flores sits up, left hand, left hand, right hand, nothing really getting through on Miller. Miller, a desert dog on his back in a neutral corner at this point. Getting that right leg in, throwing that left leg up high and isolating the posture of his opponent, Flores. Flores now looks like he's stuck almost in a triangle choke. Miller throws around that right leg, starts to bounce around, squares up. Both, both fighters on their knees. Miller first to his feet. Flores slow to get to his feet. And now they're both up. Flores tries to drag him down. Flores now on his back, holding on to a guillotine and closes up his guard. Not a good spot for Miller. Miller looks like he's trying to get out of it though, Trent. Miller rocking to his right hip, just buying him a little bit of space and a little bit of leverage on that guillotine choke, which attacks the main arteries going up to the brain. And Miller pops out, starts dropping some desert dog leather. The fans are cheering for their hometown boy. Flores pushes him off with a kick and gets up on top. JT Taylor looks at his corner man and says, how much time do we got? Flores on top, lands a hard left hand and another one to the ribs of Ronnie Miller who's on his back in Flores's corner. Miller's controlling the posture very, very tightly of Flores, but Flores just has more go juice in him, Heather. And that's it, round number one of the books. What a crowd we have here tonight, Heather, and it's beautiful to see in this Midtown MMA arena. And as we said earlier, there's a lot of sponsors back in Budo Vice tonight. We got Bridge City Fight Shop out of Tualatin, Oregon. 
They have brought some goods here tonight for fire of the night, or submission of the night, rather. And they are serious players. I've been to their shop, and I'll tell you what, nothing but goodness from the time I walked in that door to the time I walked out. Beautiful shot. Absolutely, and Clench Guards is in the house tonight. They are supplying you with all your mouth guards needs. Custom, get it made. Jeff Clench is the guy I talked to, and he will hook you up. Wait, did you say Clench is in the house? He is in the house tonight. Son of a gun, that guy's mouthpieces are legendary, Heather. Absolutely. Here we go, Trent, round two. Flores in the far corner, he's in the white trunks. Miller in the black and white trunks, here we go. Flores jumps through, power jab. Miller steps in, goes to the bread basket, just short. Miller looks like he wants to keep it in his corner this round, though. Flores jumps in, tries for a single leg, switches to a double leg, pulls out the legs of Miller as he lands on his butt right in front of his coach, JT Taylor. Miller now on his back, trying to control the posture of Flores. Flores all over the top of him, Heather. He isn't getting much in damage-wise, but he is just all over. Flores moves past the guard of Miller on Flores' left-hand side. Miller rolls him around, it's on top. Flores now on the bottom, Miller on top. Miller looks like he's reaching around for a bit of an anaconda, but he's underneath the armpits and not between the shoulders and the head. It's a tough spot to try and leverage someone over your head like that, Heather. Miller throws his leg over like he's thinking about a triangle. Doesn't quite get it. Throws it around. Flores on top. Three quarters position on all over Miller. Miller starts to roll through. Gets his almost his guard back. What a back and forth fight, Heather. Very exciting fight for the fans, Trent. Miller now working on the right arm of Flores. Gets it almost extended. The fans are loving it. They're looking for a win for their hometown boy. He's sitting up. He's extended. And Coach and they J.T. Get Taylor. They get it, Trent. They get the win. J.T. Taylor's going crazy. That is a dog jujitsu. Ronnie Miller pulls it out. Second round for his fans here tonight in beautiful Bend, Oregon. Dogs run this yard, Trent. They're weak. They're 2-0 tonight. Hey, and I'll tell you what, that's a lot of that dude is JT Taylor. What a great win. Great win for Ronnie Miller tonight with that back and forth battle. He earned it, Trent, and he found his opening and he took the win. And, and like I was saying, that's classic JT Taylor Desert Dog Jiu Jitsu. The first thing this guy does is brings them in and teaches them the high percentage of moves.
to win and keep it home. Wants to take it back to Pendleton. Joshua Wolfer here facing off against Lewis, Virgin, Heather. The backstory on this is Jewel came to Virgin. The medicine man said, I can't sleep. Virgin says, I got just a thing for you. And here they are in the cage tonight. Virgin in the blue and white shorts. Jewel in the black shorts. And here we go. Jewel known for his stand-up. Starts to go spin around. Virgin says, no, I'm going to come in and duke it out. And he's throwing heavy leather. Comes in, throws a knee. Jewel comes in, wraps around, gets a body lock. He is perpendicular, which is typically a power spot. But Virgin's fighting around, getting pale, Heather. And he gets a takedown. Virgin on top all over Jewel. Virgin now, moving around on top, Jewel. Way out, even giving, looks like heel kicks to Virgin. Jewel rolls around on top, starts going around the back side of Virgin. This is Jewel's game here on the ground. Virgin's a tough kid on his feet, Heather, but he is just all over the back of Virgin right now. Jewel trying to scare that rear naked choke. Virgin says, I am the medicine man. This isn't over till I say it's over. Gets up on top. Jewel now on his back. Virgin posturing up. Big left, big right. Virgin says, let's start over. Here we this go. This is a good spot for her, Virgin. Virgin likes it on feet. Big right hand just blocked by Jewel. Virgin comes in, throws a knee in that kick. She has to watch out for those hits. Virgin, known for the guy that keeps walking forward when he's getting socked up because he just doesn't stop. And just like that, right, left, right, left. Jewel's got to stay out of that pocket. The best thing you can do is take Virgin down. Virgin now traps Jewel on the cage, gives him the business. Right hand and a knee. Jewel gets around to the side of Virgin, but Virgin's great in getting him perpendicular and parallel, Heather. He certainly is, and he has him in his corner right now with Coach Justin Milani. He actually has an anaconda choke on Jewel right now. Virgin needs to walk around, throw that right leg over the hip or hamstring of Jewel and walk around, but too late now, Jewel gets on top side control. Short time in its first round. Jewel, left hand, left hand, left hand, all to the ribs of Virgin on that right hand side, and that's it, and a round number really one. Really good back and forth round, Trent. Who do you think won that round? I'd have to give it to Jewel, I'll tell you what, he came out. He took a little bit of punishment on his feet early from Virgin, but he ended up dominating that round almost in a full mount. 
getting back position all over Virgil on the ground. It's clear now at this point, Heather, in my opinion, that Virgil needs to keep it on his feet to have the most, the biggest advantage. What do you think? I, I think he certainly does realize that himself with standing back up. And I'll tell you what, Heather, looking at both these guys, they both look like they're in excellent, excellent condition. They're ready to go round two. Dave Hagen says corners out of the cage. We're about ready to get it on. Virgin in the white shorts, Jewel in the black, and here we go. Touch up, center cage. Jewel comes out swinging. Left, right, left, right, throwing straight down the middle. Virgin's throwing around the outside. Both of them are effective at landing good shots. Jewel now comes up, ties up Virgil on the cage. I'm very surprised to see that Jewel wanted to stand with him at all. But I'll tell you what, Jewel dug a trench, got right in there, and stood his ground. Heather, big props to him. And that can mentally break a fighter when you're actually giving it back to him when he thinks he's got the upper hand on, so to speak. Virgin now hanging on to that guillotine choke. Has a leg trapped in, and this could be it! Referee Dave Hagen taking a close look at it. Virgin has the right arm of Jewel trapped in. It's not a for sure thing yet, Heather, but I'll tell you what, it's tight. That certainly does look tight, Trent. Jewel starts to step around, gets full mount. He needs to get to a side mount here, Heather. He can't stay in a full mount, there he knows. Now he gets to side control. Jewel stand mounted at this point. It's a tough spot when you have your head controlled. Usually you'll see a fighter jump around to side control, poke his head out, then regain that full mount position. And Virgin's using that head, Heather, he just might get a sweep off it. This is another well-matched fight by promoter and matchmaker Derek Bruner tonight at Buddha Fights 10. I'll tell you what, this guy's just on his game, Heather. His time has come. Virgin. He's doing what he's supposed to. Jewel countering so far, but he still got his headlocked. You know, Jewel has position right now, but he's not doing any kind of damage, and there he goes. He pops out. Jewel now on top. Virgin on his back. Jewel half pop, half cock, they call it. Getting ready to drop some punishment. Now he's looking for an arm triangle on Virgin. That's a tough, that's a tough sell from that position, Heather. You usually got to jump sides and get in side position on the side of that arm triangle to finish it. I'll tell you what, Trent, there's one thing I know about Luis Virgin. That kid's got nothing but heart. And here we go, he just got a reversal. What do you say about that, Heather? Very nice move. He's not in his ideal corner, which would be his own, but he is on top. Now, now he's on his back. Sean Jewell's on his back in his own corner. Josh Jewell. In front of his corner man, Sean Jewell, his father, and we have short time in the second round. That's it, round number two in the books and we're going to our first third round here, Heather, of this brutal fight 10. What a night, what a night. I'll tell you what, today, beautiful Bend, Oregon, I was out in the sunshine, it was about 60 degrees, but it felt like it was about 75. Both of these guys in excellent shape, Heather. Sean Jewell fighting out of his hometown here in Bend, Oregon. Virgin coming to us from, I guess you could say, northeastern Oregon in the Tri-Cities area.
And it's fair to say, Heather, both these guys came ready to rumble. Here we are, round number three. Dave Hagen in the center. Let's get it on. Jewel comes out. Touch up. He's in the center. Virgin around the outside. Takes low kick. Starts throwing big shots. All of them around the bend. Hooks. Virgin is a definite hooker. He is coming from the outside. Jewel likes to throw down the middle. Virgin backing up Jewel. Jewel rocking and reeling from those big hooks. Virgin grabs hold of the head of Jewel. Drops to his butt. Looks like he's going to try the guillotine again. Jewel jumps the full mount and pops out. Virgin had the head of Sean Jewel for a minute. Sean Jewel said, no, I played this game last round. I'm popping out early. Sean Jewel on top, giving Virgin the business in his own corner. And here he is, Heather, in front of his own hometown crowd. He can taste victory at this point. He is trying to posture up. Virgin doing everything he can, not letting him to get the posture and the leverage of that big heavy leather that's going to drop down on him. And here it comes. It's rain and leather. Virgin on his back, he's got to do something. And he does, he disrupts. Jewel just get on a tear to where he's rattling off a few punches and Virgin will do just enough to knock him off his giddy up. Jewel now on the back of Virgin. Virgin, new kicks out on the right leg. Virgin in his corner listening very closely to coach Justin Milani trying to get out of that. And hey, Coach Milani, another professional here from the local ranks, huh, Heather? This is not looking good. Jewel reaches around, wrenches around Virgin. Virgin still fighting tough, Heather. This kid has more heart than I don't know what of. He certainly does, Trent. He better watch out. Virgin is going to square up and just might get positioned. Jewel now realizes that. Short it's time in this third round. And it looks to me at this point, Virgin has the top position. That's it. That is over. We've got three rounds. It's in the books. Now it's all in the judges' hands, Heather. A great fight, fight, fought by both of these fighters here tonight for the fans. Win or lose on either side, great fight. Head Commissioner Randy Westbrook down, adding up the scores. And I'll tell you what, Heather, only about half the time do I, half the time of the real close fights, do I ever agree with the state of Oregon. To the cage they go, center cage. And what a card this has been so far, Heather.
Jewel picking up his second win here in his own hometown, and it's got to feel good. What's your favorite energy drink? You always find me with a cannabis energy drink ready to drink. <laughs> and what do you guys do here at Visions, man? Sling glass, uh, blow glass, sell glass. Uh, do you? You blow glass? Can yeah. we take a look at some of your setup? Well, you not do it here. Vision Smoke Shop, Redmond, Oregon, 231 Southwest 6th Street, downtown Redmond, across the street from Sears. <laughs> Time, Heather. We've seen the Irish bomber Kevin Bame grow as an amateur, and here he is tonight being cornered by the pit bull Shorty Weichel, pro fighter local. And I don't know if you can read that look that he just gave Gary Thompson when he walked in the cage. It was like, you don't belong in this cage with me. I'm Kevin Bone. Get out of my cage. Out 
Gary Thompson's the real deal, Heather. He throws hard and he throws fast. What does Kevin Bame have to do to, to deal with that kind of speed and that kind of power? Stop it before it starts. Not an easy task with fast twitch. Gary Thompson, back to his corner he goes. Thompson is giving up about two to three inches on Kevin Bame, and here we go. Touch it up, 7K, Bame steps in, high kick just misses. Bame throws out that jab. Fast switch likes to throw hard and heavy, he's a righty. Bame gets off his feet, fast switch throws a right hand, lands right on the melon of Bame. Bame goes to the canvas, gets back up. Fast switch, throw it the left, right. Fast switch, now. Gets a takedown, Bame throws him over the top. Very Bain. impressive moves in there. Big knee, looked like it landed solid on Thompson. Thompson very dangerous in big throwing matches. And he likes to throw, he likes to throw heavy, he likes to throw hard. Bame, good idea, coming out with kicks. What do you think, Heather? Bain throwing that left hook is a clear and clears him out. He does not want Thompson to get in tight and release an onslaught like he did earlier. Bain now throws a left hand, partially lands on Thompson. Thompson, I don't know what he was doing, Heather. And that was weird. He does some weird things in there. He looked down and Bame decided to capitalize on it. Thompson, very good with his hands. He throws hard and he throws very accurate. Earlier in the round, we saw him knock down Bame. Bame come in, kick into the legs again, trying to take that mobility out from little Gary Thompson. Thompson throws a big right hand up, just misses. Those are coming so close, Heather. Bain fakes a kick, steps in, almost pays for it big with a right hand from Thompson. He cannot play like that with someone with, that has Thompson speed power. Bain now catches a kick, lands a right hand, knocks Thompson down. But fast twitch is right back up. He didn't keep him down for long, did it? Fast switch, lands a good left hand. Bame's looking like he's small and bloody, got a little more confident in his step. He better not get too confident. Fast switch is still throwing big heavy shots. That one hurt fast switch a little bit. I can see it grimace, Heather. Bame throws a right hand, almost rocks. Fast switch, lands a left hand that knocks him off his feet a little bit. Bame's looking very confident with those hits. Short time in this first round. Bam comes high, just misses. Goes low. He's trying to take the mobility out from Thompson. Here we go. Second round. I never thought this fight was going here, Heather. I did not see it going this way either. Thompson looks a little shaky on his feet after some of those hits from Bame. Bame looking miles ahead from when we first saw him as an early amateur, Trent. Great showing by him tonight. I'll tell you what. This kid's grown. So much, Heather, so much. I mean, you and I first first saw him fight, and it was uh, worlds apart from where he's at now. Bame has been training with some of the best in Oregon, and he is now at Art of War, which is definitely a school that's known for their champions as well. Bame looking a lot better cardio than uh, fast twitch, Gary Thompson. Bame looking like he's already got the win, just needs to finish his opponent. Hey, but I'll tell you what, Gary Thompson fast switch, he has power in his hands and they come quick. It's only going to take one shot from Gary Thompson to knock the lights out of Bame. Bame comes charging forward, throws that big left hand out. Trying to play the range game with Gary Thompson now at this point. Steps in, throws a right hand, falls short. He's got to be really careful with that. Bame comes in, throws the kick, Gary Thompson steps in, left, right. Bame, 
bobbing and weaving and juking and jiving. Goes to the distance with Thompson, who's now covering up and turning circles, Heather. Big left hand, right hand from Bain. Thompson doesn't look like he wants to stand in Bain, but yeah, he is not taking down Bain. It's a big red flag when you start seeing a fighter turn around to a circle out in the cage. And that's what Gary Thompson's doing right now. Doesn't instill a whole lot of confidence. He's a very unorthodox fighter as it is, Trent. But uh, this is definitely looking like Bane's game tonight. Gary Thompson still throwing hard with that right hand, though. Boom, steps in, heavy left, rocks Thompson. Thompson fires back, gets a shot of his own. Babe throws a heavy right, misses off Thompson's chin. They both exchange good jabs. Boom comes to the left hand. Gary Thompson returns his left. Both of them land solid. Boom comes straight in now. Left hand, pays for with the right hand from Thompson. We're just playing swalk and soccer at this point, Heather. If the he's going to fall down first. That, their fans are loving that these boys are on their feet and they are putting on a good show. Boom at this point looks like he's in a little bit better shape than Thompson. Thompson started to slow down, but he's still throwing. Babe now rattling off a five, six punch combo. Gets taken down by Thompson. Thompson's corner. Babe trying to work on the head of Thompson. Turns around, gets off his knees, double leg Thompson, he's on top. Thompson's energy level has dropped significantly, Heather, in the last 30 seconds. Boom now, heavy right hands to the left ribs of Thompson. That doesn't feel good. Short time in the second round, short time! Five seconds left. That's it, round number two in the books. playing in the background, Heather. What a song for this fight. Both of them have taken big shots, got knocked down, got back up, and here we are, round number three. Let's get it on. Bill Vegan singer goes to the Gary Thompson and says, what's wrong with you? I said, let's get going. Gary Thompson says, I'm trying to, Mr. Dave Hagen. Here we go. Third and final round for this fight. Boom, comes out, lands a four punch combo, nothing really lands significant. Now he comes up top, out of range of Thompson, comes in left, right, and left, still everything missing. Thompson fakes a shot, gets Bane moving. Bane now throwing out that jab. Bane, hard kick. Down to the hip pointer of Thompson. Thompson comes forward, looks like he's a Superman kicking. Now he's chasing Babe around the cage. Now he lands a left and right on Babe. Babe returns with his own right hand. Lands flush. Thompson walking towards him with his hand down. Flying. And he pays for it. Now with Pete Thompson to keep his hands up, he's got to do that in the cage, Heather. Blood is flying in the cage. 
I don't know what Fast Twitch is doing by banging over, but Kevin Bain's watching him try. Fast Twitch is a kind of a crazy kid. He's an orthodox, but he gets the job done. Shoots in, let's go the leg. Babe spins around back, starts giving him the business. Babe, left hand, left hand, left hand, left hand, left hand, left hand. And Dave Hagen says that's enough. Dave Hagen stops in the third round for Babe as the winner. I'll tell you what, that was a war of attrition. And Kevin Babe just wore him the hell out. I hope not, Heather, because I can barely wait for these next three fights.
Chemical Energy. Official energy drink of Budo Fights. Hey, Vision Smoke Shop, what's your favorite energy drink? You always find me with a cannabis energy drink ready to drink. So, you're Sean Solis? Solis, yes. Solis. Yeah. Right on, where are you fighting out of, brother? Smith Martial Arts, here in Bend. Yeah? Yeah. Right here out of Bend, Oregon, so right you got here. a big fan crowd coming on. Uh, sold a lot of tickets, got everybody coming, it's going to be exciting. Yeah, you know who your opponent is, this guy out of Colorado? Yeah, uh, Alan Washington, that's about all I know about him. This is a title fight, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, you looking to keep it here in Bend, then? I will be keeping it here in Bend, that's the plan. Yeah, how old are you? 22, as of two days ago. You have 11 fights? 11, or this will be my 11th, I'm 6 and 4 right now. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Right on. That's not a bad record, man. So yeah. what, are you looking to go pro if you take this title? Yeah, I mean, every fight I've had, uh, I'm looking to have the toughest dude out there. Um, my first fight, you know, went out and dominated and felt good about it. And from there, I just wanted to fight the best dudes. Uh, yeah? I've had six of my ten fights have been title fights. And just looking at... And are you wearing six belts? I'm wearing three. You're wearing three so, of the six? Know, it's been back and forth with the titles. Um, this will put me at four and three. If I win this one for title fight record. Right. But uh, that's the plan. It's, you know, get out there and win and learn. So. Sponsoring you. Hola. Hola. Hola, Hola restaurants. restaurants. Right on, man. That's, that's Sugar cool. Sugar Sean right there on the back. Sugar Sean. Yeah, man. So how's your family feel about this? Looks like you got strong support over there. Yeah, they've. my dad's my co wrestling coach my whole life. Oh, right on. He drove me all over the nation wrestling in national tournaments. Uh, we've been doing the high-level stuff as long as we can. Uh, my mom and sis, they've been right beside me ever since. Yeah. You know, um, strong support system. They'll be cheering me on definitely on Saturday. I'm Alan Washington, for, out here from Denver, Colorado, representing Team Wildman, Colorado Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Stapleton, Mass Construction, and uh, Rocky Mountain Truck and Repair. Uh, right now, my record is 8 and 4. 8 and 4 all MMA? Yes. Yeah, right on, man. What kind of style you like to stick with? I like fighting. Yeah, that's a good yeah. style, man. It's exactly what you need in there, right? Right oh, on, yeah. man. So what's family life like with with all the MMA work? Uh, my, uh, I got my back 100%. You know, they tell me to come out here, smash, yeah, come home with the belt, uh, return the winner. Yes. Yeah. You single ladies. MMA is my girlfriend right now. Right on, man. So how many years you been been deep in martial arts? Uh, four, about four, four years. Yeah. Yeah, man. Right on. How old are you right now? I am 39. Just turned 39 back in February. Four. This, this is my uh, first time uh, fighting for this promotion, so I'm excited to be here. Put on a good show. Check. He's a definite fan favorite here in this building, Heather. He's from right here in these parts. His opponent, Washington, comes to us all the way from Denver, Colorado. The fans are cheering on their hometown kid, Sugar Sean Solis, and he is ready to go, Trent. He wants that belt. And I'll tell you what, Washington didn't look him in the eye at the face-off, Heather. But here we go. Washington bounce around the outside. Solis trying to narrow him down, get him in his sights. Solis comes in, misses feet, misses feet. Washington throwing from the outside. Washington has about, looks to be about three or four inches on him, Heather. Solis, low single, almost pays for it with the right hand from Mr. Washington. Solis jumps forward again. Heavy right hand from Solis turns Washington around, no contact. He gets in, takes a high double leg, and now he's all over Washington on the ground, neutral corner. A little bit towards Washington's corner. Solis standing up on top, has guard half passed. 
Now he's giving him the works. Right hand. Gets the pump and landed square on Mr. Washington's forehead. So at least wants to make sure Washington does not come back from Colorado again. He said, this is my cage. I'm taking home the belt, Trent. Washington goes to his back, tries to lock down that left leg of Salise. Salise pops back up, gets a little room, gets that right hand a pumping. Washington kicks out the leg, tries to stand up. Salise is all over the back of Washington. Washington now doing a very good job using that cage to try and sit up and face Salise. Washington working his way up to the feet. Salise trying to stay high on him with that left shoulder. Almost half getting behind Mr. Washington. Knees him and takes him back down. Salise now, top side control, has half guard. In Washington's own corner. What would you be telling him if you were Washington's corner man at this point, Heather? Trent, I, I would be telling him that he's in a bad position. I mean, Solis is giving him damage in whatever way that he can, wherever he may be on that cage floor. What, what do you tell any guy underneath Sean Solis? The guy has just phenomenal wrestling, very dominant position-wise, and here we go. Washington back up to his feet, tries to make him pay with a quick left hand, doesn't quite get it, but Solis is right back down to his hips, Heather. Washington has that right hand in a whizzer. Doesn't do any good. Salise takes him straight back down and is in his guard. We got short time in this first round. Looks like we're going in the second round, but Salise is doing everything he can to maintain coverage. Trent, I know it's the, an early round for this fight, but I give that round to you. I would. I, I, I would too, but I'll tell you what, Heather. Salise extended an absorbent amount of energy that in that true. first round. Washington didn't expend all that energy. The big question, I think, in the second, third, fourth, fifth round is going to be, can Sean Salise keep this pace up the entire time? And if he doesn't, we just might get to see more openings, like what we saw with Mr. Washington throwing that big right hook. Coming all the way from Lapine, Oregon into the face of Sean Salise. Here we go, referee is calling it for round two to start right now. Salise in the black and the flag shorts. White shorts, Washington has about two to three inches on Salise. Salise comes out, low kicks again. Comes up into Washington. Washington catches it in a cattle catcher. But Salise still finds a way to get underneath him, turns him around, and drops him on his head. Now we're north south. Washington tries to come around, get a guard back. Salise rides around inside control. We are in, we are towards Sean Salise's corner in more of a neutral corner. Smith from Smith Martial Arts. Shouting instruction just feet away from Sean Salise. Sean Salise isolates the left arm of Washington. Starts getting his right arm going. Landing quick. Leather jabs with that right hand to the face of Washington. Because Washington still has to this point his left hand isolated between the knees. Not a good spot to be in right now, Heather. Salise is just doing everything he can to maintain coverage and put damage to him. Salise is just so good at dominating the position. And then we have Washington trying to jack. So
community. And here we have Sean Sleeves right on top of Washington again. Washington trying to stand up. Sean Sleeves just says, no, I'm not going to allow you to do that. Sleeves now on the back of Washington. Legs are tied up. Sleeves trying to thread around that left arm in front of Washington's neck. And Washington's just not allowing it at this point. Sleeves all over the back of Washington. Washington has his right leg postured up like he's going to stand up. But he doesn't have very far to go, Heather. Sean Sleeves is still going to be on his back. of him, Heather, riding him around everywhere. Washington just does not have an answer to Solis' domination game on the ground, on the canvas, against the Cajun, and scrambles. Solis now starting to work the knees. On the ground, Solis is permitted to deliver punishing knee shots to everywhere except for the head of his opponent. Now he starts to land some big shots. Washington balls up, turns around. Salise gets on top of him, flattens him out. Washington pops up, throws the left hand, backs up Salise. We have a momentary stop here. I'm not quite sure what it is. Might be something to do with the tape dangling from Salise's hand, and that is correct. This is big, Heather. This could be giving Washington just the break he needs. They're knocked. Sean Sleeves out. And he comes forward. Big fly and knee. That was beautiful. Hey, that I'll tell you what. I wish we had a replay on that, Trent. That was beautiful. Washington comes out with a flying knee. And Sleeves answers, turns him over, and puts him on his back in his corner. You cannot at this point question the heart of Washington. He is doing everything he can at this point to stop this fight. Beautiful, beautiful work by Sean Solis, showing why he is championship material. Short time. Do not count Washington out if he does these kind of maneuvers. He is one shot away from winning this fight. But here we are, Heather, we're going into the championship rounds. The fight is never over till it's over, Trent. We know that. I'm looking down there in the cage, Heather, and I'll tell you what, Sean Solis has put out a lot of energy. He looks very tired right now. I'm looking over at his opponent. His opponent doesn't look near as tired, near as fatigued as Sean Solis right now. He is usually a phenomenally uh, cardiovascular athlete. He can go five rounds, 100%. But I'll tell you what, one of the things we haven't talked about yet, this is Ben Dorgan. It's three quarters of a mile high. His opponent's from a mile high in Denver, Colorado. I think they're both winded, Trent. Solis is playing a good game. It might be a little bit of a safe game. We're round it's four. A good game. It's going to take one shot from Washington to knock Solis out. Washington bouncing around. Good throws out that left hand. Lands, but no real damage. Best thing Washington can do is stay away from that takedown. But you know what? So far, no doing. It's tough. One of the big rules if you're a stand-up guy versus the wrestler, you don't try and kick him because just like that, that gives the wrestler a green light to come on into your space and take you down. Now we have Solis on top of Washington, neutral corner. Solis, trapped with a swamp and half guard, as Professor Bill Bradley would say. Solis 
Salif on top. Washington rolls over. Salif, this is big, Heather. Salif on his back down. now in front of his corner. And Washington just landed a thundering left hand that shook the building. Washington now in full mount. This Holy is not smoke. a good spot. This is not good. Is the champion too tired to go on? Salif gets three quarters position, starts to cover up. He's holding on to the fence. Bruce so Hagen says, no, don't do that, son. Washington trying to come around with a knee to finish this fight with Shalise. I'll tell you what, Heather, Washington's staying in this game. He's throwing the kitchen sink at him. Shalise waits for his right moment, turns around, and they're both on their feet. There's a nice reach by Washington. Solis. Washington knows Shalise's game, Trent. Shalise shoots in, Washington sprawls out. Shalise just has a single arm up there for the takedown. That's not going to get it. Everyone watching at home, this is what we have here as a championship title fight in the fourth round. These boys are putting in work. This is why I love Buda fights. I'll tell you what, Derek Bruin has done a heck of a job with these fights here tonight, buddy. Solis in a resting position, three quarters position. First call, Dave Hagan wants to see some action in this fourth round. Russian starts to spin around the side, gives a brutalizing knee. Another one. This is not where Sean Smith wants to be. He's trying to get out of it, but he's got to dodge those punches. Scramble up to throw a knee. Salise catches it, and that was a big mistake, Heather. That gave Salise the window here. To get on top of Washington, control him in the corner. Short time in this fourth round. That's it, round number four in the books. I'll tell you what, every round, Washington is getting closer and closer to finishing this fight. Sean Sleeth has three minutes left, Heather, to hang on. Trent, round number five. Dave Hagen says, are you ready? And these boys are both ready. Fifth See and who's taking the round. belt. I'm Fifth. telling you, this is go. Sean Salise's fight right now, but it's anyone's game. The crowd is on their feet. The crowd is yelling sugar. They want the belt to stay here and bend. Washington has different plans. Washington bounce around the outside. He is light on his feet. Washington steps in left, right. No real intent there. Salise moves out of it. Washington tries to do some crazy spin kick, Ether. And I'll tell you what, Salise knew that was coming way before it even happened. Salise knows that all he's got to do is hold him down for this round, and he's got that shiny belt. Is he going to play it safe? There we go. He's got the takedown. Washington on his back in Salise's corner. And you, know, you can't really say that, Heather. I'll tell you what, I've seen some crazy decisions here from the state of Oregon Athletic Commission. He never let go of the judges. That is true. In my eyes, I believe Sugar has won four of the rounds so far. I believe you are correct. Round four was close, but not quite any cigar for Washington, who is being not mauled enough. on the cage right now by Sean Solis. He's doing everything he can to keep his hands on Washington. These boys are in a lock right now. Neither one wanting to go to the ground. Actually, I believe Sean does want to go to the ground. But uh, Washington's saying, no dice. I don't want to do that this round. Chase goes for a single leg. Elevates Washington. Washington now has both his legs in. Comes to the ground with Solis and looks to have a little bit of a guillotine 
but it's under the right arm of Salih, so no real big threat, I don't believe, from this angle right here. Doesn't here. appear to be a, much of a threat. Referee Dave Hagen looking close. Salih's in half guard from his position. It's tough to finish a guillotine from that spot with the rotation that the top man has on him. Felice's skill showing heavy in these championship rounds. Washington tries to slide out the back. Felice pops out his head and gets control. The fans are on their feet for this one. Felice now getting that left arm active and in level. If you are here, not here tonight and you are watching at home, this is some live action. Make sure you buy a ticket next time to Budo Fights 11. It is awesome to watch it up close, live in living color. We do appreciate you watching at home. Short time, and I'll tell you what, Heather, if you do plan on coming here, get your tickets early. Fifth and final round, seconds left, and that is it. It is to the judges. That is it. Sugar shots, Elise throws out his mouth guard. He raises his hands. That boy does believe he is the champion here tonight. He has taken home that belt. His fans don't think any different. Nice sportsmanship. Here we go. We got promoter Paul Heatherman in the cage ready to deliver the belt to the final decision winner. That's a beautiful belt, Heather. I saw it last night at the Williams. And it is beautiful. Custom made Buddha fight. And you know, that's just like Budo fights. They do the best of everything. They take care of their fighters. They do everything to bring in the best talent, not just here in the state, Heather, but they proved it this fight from all over the region, from Colorado to California to Washington, Oregon. They brought in the best for us here tonight. We certainly have the packed house here tonight. Central Oregon saw a beautiful sunny day. But they came out here tonight to rock the house at the Midtown Concert Hall here in Bend, Oregon. And let's see who's taking that belt. He did it, Sugar Sean Solis got the belt and is keeping it here in Budo, or, excuse me, Bend, Oregon, for Budo Fights 10. And I'll tell you what, there's not very many men on this guy's hit list, but I'll tell you what, Bonsai Bessa has to be one of them, Heather. I'd love to get Bonsai Bessa and this kid together. I'll try, I do believe that Gus Bessa is at home watching. He has messaged me and is watching the fights tonight. And I'm sure he was watching his eyes on Sean Solis here tonight. Maybe we'll see him at the next video. A little tip off to the matchmaker, Derek Broom. Maybe we should set that up. I'm gonna do everything I can to try and get these together. These two, these two are made for each other like they're coming from Match.com.
Lions. That was the first of three title fights here tonight. We have our next one coming up. It is the co-main event. Trent Stanning will be announcing the... Uh, we offer all your indoor garden needs, uh, as well as outdoor. Um, yeah, between lighting and nutrients and soils and uh, different additives, bugs, stuff, anything you need. Absolutely, supporting local businesses, you know, Pro Organic is, um, and Down to Earth is from Eugene. They're really great. We do have a dot What's com and a Facebook. <laughs> GreenleafGardenCenter.com. GreenleafGardenCenter.com. And, uh, look, I don't even know. No, so about. stop by Facebook and like <laughs> GreenleafGardenCenter.com and, uh, you guys can keep up with what the uh, newest trends and safe gardening measures and things like that, right? Yep, yeah. absolutely. New products that are coming. Um, we're constantly getting new lines in here. So whatever our customers want, that's what we're trying to give. Right on. <laughs> this is uh, Greenleaf Garden Center. Uh, we're here off of 9th and Wilson. Uh, 910, I believe, is the address. Uh, we've been here for four years, coming in April. Uh, Definitely all your indoor, uh, outdoor, organic gardening needs, and then some um, from hydroponic, uh, soil, uh, seed starting, propagation, uh, everything. Uh, yeah. Stop in the green leaf. Yeah, definitely. Come check us out.
Dirty Mike on paper, Heather five inches taller than Josh Spencer. Josh Spencer known as a stand-up kickboxing guy. Dirty Mike Gonzalez from Smith Martial Arts, you know he is good everywhere. Here we go, come out, tie up. Gonzalez throwing around Spencer. Spencer has an over-under. Tries to sneak in a quick right hand to the left ribs of Gonzalez and succeeds. Gonzalez trying to shake him off. Spencer gets a takedown, but Gonzalez rides around on top. I think there was a low blow there, Heather, on the trip. I believe Gonzalez knee landed right in the cup of Josh Spencer. But who cares? We're back to action. Gonzalez, big right hand. Spencer ducks under it. Goes for a takedown. Gonzalez wrapped him up in Anaconda style. And rolls him. Rolls him in Anaconda. Jumps around on top. This could be it. And that's it. That's it just like wow. that. We are done and over. Wow. Josh Spencer does appear to be hurt. I'll tell you what, Dirty Mike Gonzalez got filthy there, Heather. Wow. Rolled around, got on top, and a car to choke. Finished it from top that mount. was a very quick coming event. Kudos to Dirty Mike Gonzalez. He uh, is taking home the welterweight title here at Budo Fights. Congratulations. Just like that, it was filthy. I believe it was kind of dirty. A new champion is born. Not 
is a KO, they put on the show. Whether we're five round four or two, grab the gold. Let's go, who the fights, yes, that show. Get it popularity, wanna overthrow. From the territory, reaching to across the globe. Time to make history, let the world go. Never underestimate the power of a team. Standing united to realize one dream. Anyone who got it before, would not believe. Who the fights make excitement extreme. Ladies and gentlemen, know you ready. Gather around that kid so ready. From the dilemma, the fight or more cards. Not the stage fight. Oh, no, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, know you ready. Gather around that kid so ready. From the dilemma, the fight or more cards. Not the stage fight. Oh, no, oh. Who the fights? Who the fights? The way of the warrior. Honor. So, so you think that's going to kind of bother you going up? He's a little more experienced, regardless if he's got five more losses. No, the other guy I fought, Brandon Nunn, he was seven and three. Way better fighter. Yeah? Tougher. Brandon Nunn? Yeah. So how are you feeling about this now? I'm feeling great for this one. I'm feeling the yeah, shape of my you life. You look like you're 100%. You walk yeah. around all smiles. Most time at Dura weigh-ins, man, there's not a fighter with a smile on his face. No, you know, But good. you've been walking around with a lot of confidence here. Feeling healthy, feeling good. I'm, this is my first fight where I'm actually 100%. So. Right on, man. Number five, keep you alive, man. Yeah. Cool, cool, man. Yeah. So what's your family think about all this? My mom doesn't like it. But the rest of my family does, but they always come to every one of my fights to support me. Yeah, so. does she show up anyway? Yeah, she shows up. Yeah, that's good, man. Right on. Your dad loves it? My dad loves it, yeah. yeah. Hey, man, it's a pleasure talking with you. Is there anybody you want to give shout-outs to? Uh, shout-out to my sponsors. I want to thank Dumachi for making these shirts and everything. Got guys up on the back. I want to thank some of my other sponsors. You are Fight Gear. I got your shirt today. We're going to be walking out with it. Uh, Backdoor Studios, Upright, um, Eyes Up Massage. A few other ones out there, Max Muscle. Just want to thank you guys. Cool, cool, man. My name is Andrew Litt. I'm fighting out of Denver, Colorado. Specific gym you got? My specific gym is Team Wildman. You like to train around? You train around a few different places? or? Uh, I get it in on occasion. Sometimes I, when I'm done with Team Wildman, maybe go to a 24-hour and get it in. But other than that. Right on, man. Mix it up with a little bit of weight training on top of your uh, martial arts training. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, right on. <laughs> Who you got on your shirt there, man? Who you repping? 
Mass Destruction, Mass. Team Wildman, all the sponsors for Team Wildman, and then obviously we're some fist fighters, so that's what really we're representing. Right. So what's your record right now? It's five and five for MMA. Five and five MMA. What else you got? I do four and zero oh for kickboxing. Okay. Any specific leagues you're in? Are you are you uh, you're all amateur, right? Um, right now I'm just fighting amateur for both MMA and kickboxing. You got some uh, aspects of going pro anytime soon, man? Yeah, shoot, whenever it, whenever it happens, I just love banging, so. Yeah? I mean, if it happens along the way, it's only a plus. <laughs> right on, man. It's representing JT Taylor. He is running out here out of Redmond, Oregon, Smash Conditioning Studios. Colton Hardcore Howard is here to claim his belt around his waist. For all of the fans watching at home and the fans here at Midtown, Colton says this is his fight. He's ready. You know, Trent, something that Colton Howard said to me last night is, Heather, I've studied my opponent, Andrew Loveless Lip. I know his weaknesses. I know that he likes to throw kicks and he gets a little slippery on them, and I plan to capitalize on that. And I'll tell you what, Colton Howard is young, what, 18, 19 years old? But he comes from a great camp, Desert Dogs, JT Taylor, and you can bet your butt he's going to come out here. Like you said, he is going to know his opponent. He is going to have a great game plan. Definitely a fan favorite here tonight. Heather, people love Hardcore Howard. Trent, it is safe to say that Colton Howard has been well groomed, well groomed by JT Taylor. I'll tell you what, though. I'll tell you what. Lip is going to take no guff off Colton Howard. Are you saying Lip is going to take no lip off Colton Howard? Lip throwing out that left hand, both legs are a smacking. Comes up high. Colton Howard says, I don't think so. I Lip. predicted. He Big left hand. hand comes in. Body lock on Colton Howard. Colton Howard has double underhooks under Lip now, who has a body lock. Lip needs to trip down. There he goes on top of Colton Howard. Colton Howard is undefeated, but not in a very good spot right now. Lip's about ready to give him a beating, Heather. Lip on top, getting his right hand active. Howard trying to suck him down, do a little bit of that jujitsu magic. This is a comfortable spot. He has no, no mistake of the ground game, Trent. Howard grabbed his head, almost got a reversal there. Lip, very long, very tall, basing out. It's very hard to roll this very sprawled out young man, Heather. Howard. Still reefing on that head. Usually I'm doing to get his hips out, get back to the fence. We could see him stand up. No, Lip flattens him back out. Lip now on top. Throwing left hands, nothing getting through Colton Howard's defense thus far. Now Howard's taking damage. Left hand, left hand from Lip. Lip has come here to make a statement and he is doing it with Colton Howard. He is on top and he has given him the business. Now he's so mounted! Now Lip is starting to pick his shots. 
He's beating him with the left hand. He's beating him with the right hand. Colton Howard moving around. Lip now working on the right arm of Howard. Busts out of that, postures up, goes down low and then back up high. Colton Howard still moving around well. Lip gets a little high. This could be Howard's road to salvation, Heather. Certainly could be. Lip all over the neck of Colton Howard. Lip working that head. Howard doing everything in his power to fight it. Lip flexing up as much as he can do to cut off those arteries to the brain. Starts to flatten Howard out. Howard ain't flattening it out. Howard starts short to time, move around. Short time in this first round. Try to short time. All Howard's got to do is hold on. And he's doing it. He turns around. Oh. And that is it. Howard. Oh. How did Howard survive that round? I don't know. I don't know, but let's hope he gets What do you think JT's going to say to him on the second round? He, you know what? I know what JT's going to say. He's going to say, hey, it wasn't a good round. We need to do something different, and this is what we're going to do. I'm guessing JT right now is going to tell him, you don't get underneath this guy again. I want you on top of him. I want you throwing blows on top. I want you to punch into a clinch. I want you to wrap him up. I want you to take him down. And I want you on top of them to welcome this young man to beautiful Bend, Oregon, the way that us desert dogs like to welcome people here. Wow, Howard's looking like he's all right, though. Hey, Howard's a tough kid. He's undefeated for a reason. He's gone in here and got the snot knocked out of him and then come right back the next round. And we're going to see if that's going to happen right here, right now. Heather, here we go. Brutal fight number 10 in the house. Let's go. Touch up, center cage, Colton comes out. Hard left jab, walking in. Partially lands on lip. Low kick now. Colton Howard says this round's mine. And he's coming out with a purpose. Hard left hand just misses. But I'll tell you what, he threw with intentions, and that's good to see. Colton's hungry. Colton tries a lateral drop, doesn't quite get it. Squares back around, puts lip on the cage. Lip spins him around, puts Colton Howard's butt on the cage and drops down for a double Lip looking for the takedown. Howard hanging on. He takes him down right in his corner. Simple cheater step, takedown, ends up on top. Colton Howard trying to control the right wrist of Lip. It's a tough spot to do it though. Lip has all the leverage in the world to get that right hand up and out. Howard does have coach JT Taylor right there in his ear though on what he should be doing. Lip right around on top, Colton Howard doing everything he can do to try and tie up Lip. You see him attacking the left wrist of Lip and now he lets it go. Lip is fully mounted in front of Coach JT Taylor. What's going on down there, Heather? This is not looking to be any better of a round for Colton Howard. He came out hungry. But uh, Lip is hanging on. He is just right And now he's postured up, and he's starting to pick his shots. But you know what? He's not throwing, Heather. Lip could be getting in trouble cardio-wise. He certainly could be. This is a five-round fight. Lip throws Colton Howard around. He's side-controlled now on little Justin Bieber against the fence. Colton pushes off the fence, gets almost north-south with him, but Lip falls around. Colton Howard, big kick off the fence, almost gets a reversal. He's Lip. back on his feet. Lip follows him back to the cage. Howard has his butt in the cage. Looks like he's tying up for a lateral drop, Heather. Last time he did that, he pulled Lip right on top of him. Howard, big nice knee in the bread knee. basket. Good shot. Hard to fight. 
fight on his hands with Loveless. 10 seconds left in the second round. In the second, that felt like a short round, Trent. And Heather's trying, er, Heather, he's trying, he was arching up with that guillotine choke trying to finish that fight. Do not count Colton Howard out. He's just getting started. I bet Colton Howard's happy at the five round fight tonight, Trent. I would not give him those first two. You're feeling kind of low and down and down and low. Pick up a can of energy. Official energy drink of uh, Budo Fights. Hey, Vision Smoke Shop, what's your favorite energy drink? You always find me with a cannabis energy drink ready to drink. Oh, hi. Opponent doesn't seem to be breathing very heavy, Heather. This is Dick Eric for him. Every time he goes to the start of the round and they're on their feet, though, Colton Howard has that good opportunity to use that right hand. Both these guys hungry for that belt. Howard comes out. Hard leg kick lands well. Another hard leg kick throws the left hand up. Not much on it. Ties nice up knees with from Howard. Lip drags him over to his corner, though. What a fantastic night of fights, Heather. I'll tell you that. Absolutely, Trent. This has been a very mixed ending of all the fights here tonight, and this one is looking already to be a great back and forth. As a show as a whole, this has probably been, been one of the best Budo fights I've ever laid eyes on. And I'll tell you what, they're in there getting down right now, round number three in this championship fight. Amazing. Lip has a seatbelt, a really high double leg on Colton Howard. Colton Howard isn't reaching inside to break those hands, but now he does. Now he delivers a hard rib shot to Lip, who backs him right up against the cage again. Now that shot right there, Heather, I'll tell you what, landed right in the... Name is Backdoor Studios, located right on 6 in downtown Redmond. Obviously the best shop in Redmond. Yeah, we've been here five years. Uh, we were located in the back in the alleyway for, for uh, three and a half. We've been up here about one and a half, so. The kid's only 18, 19 years the old. The standard right? that you get five minutes, correct, to recover? You can have up to five minutes. Could be a nice cardio break for both. I do not believe Dave Egan is going to take a point for that, Heather. I have seen a lot more flagrant uh, knees to the crotch of opponents, and Dave Egan hasn't taken a point. He will usually give the benefit of the doubt to the perpetrator. Colin Howard says he's ready to go. Here we go, third round. Colton Howard looked like he was going to come out and return the favor there early, Heather. He lands a big left hand. Let go backwards. Howard oh. lands a right hand. Oh. Lip is oh. wobbly. Lip is loose on his feet. Colton Howard starting to swarm him. Colton Howard looks pretty pissed off, Trent. Left hand knocks out the mouthpiece of Lip. Howard on top of Lip, giving him the business. Drop in leather. Howard. Knocks the mouthpiece right out of his opponent's mouth, Trent. Did you see that? Phenomenal strike from Howard, but now he's on his back, Heather. Howard says, you're not going to kick me in the crotch and get away with this. He came out pretty um, hardcore. I do believe he rocked his opponent pretty good. Oh, that was a knee in the head while he was down. That should be a point immediately from Dave Hagan. I will be very the surprised. The crowd is booing JT Taylor, Colton's corner off. Oh, not good. And take it me, who has fought in the state of Denver, Colorado, they do not need the face at all. No, that is something that you definitely need better. I believe a point will be taken here. 
Let's see. He hasn't even dated it yet. How they stand in. What do you guys do here at Visions, man? Sling glass, uh, blow glass, sell glass. Uh, do you? You blow glass? Can yeah. we take a look at some of your setup? Well, you not, do it here? Vision Smoke Shop, Redmond, Oregon, 231 Southwest 6th Street, downtown Redmond, across the street from Sears. Can you hold on a minute there, son? I'm in control of this fight. We will see. And here he is. He's taking the point, Trent. Oh, there it is. JT Davis. He can make a championship fight, Trent. I'll it's tell you what. Can. JT Davis clapped his hand, said, Mr. Hagan, you got, you made a good decision there. And here we have Howard Swarm and Lip, sucking Howard him up. Howard is just teeing up on Lip. Lip is loose on his feet. Come push him against the cage. Lip trying to hold on to the body. Howard trying to punch out of it. Point round for Howard. Short time in this round and Howard swarming. Howard, big left hand, wobbles Lip. Another big one. And Lip is wobbly on his feet at the conclusion of round number three. What a fight, Heather. He is very lucky for this round track, for this break, I should say. That was beautiful. You know what? And just like that, moving into round number four on my score card, it is even two rounds and two rounds. Get the loss of the point from Lip there. I would agree with you, Trent. I would have to agree with you. And I'll tell you what, a bigger thing that I'm noticing right now is a big momentum swing in favor of the baby face fighter. That they call the grown hardcore coach Howard. He's just so young, Heather. 18, 19 years old. He's still a baby at this point. He and looks good, feeder. though. He's making himself known, and it's, he's looking great. Here we go, round number four. Joe Merlin says, come on, I want to hear you. His opponent does not look like he's ready to come out, and the doctor is checking him out, Heather. The doctor is checking out his opponent. His opponent says, okay, I'm ready to go. Let's do it. He does not look like he wants to do this, though, Heather. Here we go. Go now and jump through. Big jab lands. Lip throwing a left right. They're loose. Lip is... Lip does not look like he's in a fight, Trent. He does not look stable on his feet. Not hard right all. hand by Howard. A hard left hand. Right hand, left hand. Lip is wobbled again. Lip gets belted. Big left hand backs up. Howard smells blood and he's swinging. Howard zeroed in. Big left hand. Another big left hook. Another left hand. Lip is wobbled. The crowd's loving it. How is Lip still on his feet? I don't know. Howard now ties up Lip. Lip puts Howard on the cage. Howard bounces off. Lip isn't even chasing. He looks so tired, Trent. Lip's mouth is open. Mouthpiece is half he is out. He's just waiting for Colton to swing on him. Just waiting. There is no movement in that body, Trent. Lip's lights are on, but nobody's home. <laughs> Colton Howard backs up Lip. Lip goes to knee. Howard grabs it. Howard now down to a double leg. Howard gives up the double leg, goes to a single on the left leg of Lip. Howard backs up Lip against the cage. Lifts up that leg. Lip starts to fight the takedown. Howard basically throws him down. Stands over the top of him. Starts giving him the old hammer fist. He's painting the fence one way and then the other. Big knee from Howard. Backs up Lip. I don't think Lip knows where he's at right now. Big right hand. Lip backs up. And that is it. David enough.
just like that, we have a new champion, Heather. Awesome, 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 awesome fight. Now he looks like a baby. He's just a baby. Now he kind of does look like a baby in his coach's arm. Good sportsmanship right there from Colton Howard. He says, hey, I came out, I did what I wanted to do, I got the belt.
for the submissions of KO, they put on the show. Whether a five round war or two, grab the gold. Let's go, who the fights, yes, that show. Get it popularity, wanna overthrow. From the territory, reaching to across the globe. Time to make history, 